guys, it's Ashley and today I have a review for y'all of a new nail brush kit from Ajubis. This kit comes in a nice black holder. It's pretty well made and it feels very sturdy. And then on the inside of the kit you get six brushes. And then over here in a little pouch, you get some nail scissors and some tweezers. And then they have even come out with a clear stamper as well. And you get it in the kit too. And here's the clear stamper. It just says a Jubis on it. It's in a nice clear holder. The only thing that I would say is that the holder has a plastic backing on it, but you can see through the plastic backing. I just don't like plastic backings on my stampers because I'm really clumsy and I'm probably going to get acetone on this. But you can always cut the backing off. The head is like a semi-firm head, but it still has some give to it. And as you can see, it's pretty squishy. And then it also comes with their scraper, which is a big, it's bigger than a credit card scraper that says Jubis on it. The edges feel pretty smooth. We'll see how these work. I'll get to these last since the main focus on this kit is their new brushes. And the brushes all have little protectors on them. You just take them off. I love the brushes and their little handle. My favorite part about the handle is that the end pops off and actually will double as a cap to protect your brushes. So you can actually even make them shorter when you're doing nail art so you don't have such a long holder to hold. But I think that with the cap on, this brush looks really neat. I love the silver and the pink. I think they go really well together. And I love the little blue heart that they put in there. I guess they picked my favorite colors, pink and blue. So I really love these brushes. And I love hearts too. So pink, blue, and hearts. The kit actually comes with a card that tells you what each brush is for. You have your detailer brushes, triple zero, and then quadruple zero which I'm super excited for these because as you'll know I love to do reverse stamping and these brushes will be perfect for filling in the teeny teeny tiny details on my images that I like to do because I'm like a sucker for tiny details and I like everything to be perfect and I am so hard on myself when I go out of the lines so these two brushes are probably going to be my go-to and my favorite of the group then you have your 13 millimeter liner brush. This is for, I guess you could use it for drawing straight lines if you want to, but it's more for drawing outlines, really fine outlines. That's why it's so, so super thin and long so you can just kind of like draw the perfect outline. Next, you have your flat fan brush. This fan brush is actually fairly large compared to the other nail art fan brushes that I have. The size difference is really I mean it's actually like twice the size of this one and this is used for streaking colors onto the nails or blending colors together I've actually seen people even do gradients using these brushes so that's always nice to have and then the last brushes that you have are a number six and a number four angled cleanup brush and then I want to point this out because on the bottom of this note that you get with your brushes, I don't know if everyone's will have it, but mine says do not use a nail polish remover with acetone because it will damage the bristles. I contacted Ajubis about this asking what do I use with the cleanup brushes if I cannot use acetone based nail polish remover because I use straight acetone whenever I'm cleaning up around my nails. 
and they said that there was a mistake and that acetone will not harm the bristles on these brushes. So what I'm going to do after I get done painting with them and trying to do some scales, which bear with me because I am, like I said, I'm not the best freehand artist, so my scales may be completely ugly, but I'm going to dip them in acetone, or I'm going to dip the cleanup brushes in acetone and see if it has any effect on them or if it ruins them or what it does because like I said I'll be using them for cleanup so if the acetone ruins them I really have no loss because I wouldn't really use them for anything else. So the first scale that I'm going to do is the fan brush and I have just three colors here that I'm kind of mixing together this is probably like the easiest one in my opinion if I don't screw it up even and as you can see it gives you a nice ombre effect and the more you blend it out the more it'll go together And I loved the way that that turned out. I actually did better on that than I thought I would. So I'm happy with that. The next one that I'm going to try to tackle is the lining brush. Bear in mind, my free hand is not the best. And of course this camera had technical difficulties and did not record the whole design, but all I did was basically just continue to fill the snail up with different crescent moon shaped colors. And here I'm just going to draw a real quick freehand design. Of course my freehand is not the best so it's just going to be something simple.
And then using the angled cleanup brush, I'm just gonna play around and blend these two colors together on the nail. You can actually draw flowers using this technique, but I suck at doing it. I've tried countless times and just can't seem to get it. But I can blend colors together using the brush. And the last thing that I'm going to do is dip this brush in some acetone and see what it does to it because an angled cleanup brush is no good if you can't put it in acetone. And it seems to have done nothing to it. The bristles didn't disintegrate or anything. So I think that this will be a very good cleanup brush. I can't wait to try it out and use it. Or I can't wait to use the triple zero and the quadruple zero brushes in my nail art because I am always looking for good tiny brushes to fill in my designs with. So real quick, I'm going to test out their clear stamper and let's see how well it picks up images. And if you want to see a review where I just test out the clear stamper, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm just using Moira Stamping Polish in black. And I'm using Dixie Plate number three. So I'm going to go ahead and use their scraper and try it out. It's rather big, but it scrapes perfectly. That's like a perfect scrape. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to try pushing straight down first. And pushing straight down, I didn't get very good pickup at all. So real quick, I'm going to try the rolling method. And that time I got perfect pickup. I hope y'all can see that good. The bottom of the stamper is kind of reflecting up. And there you have it, it picks up that image great. So this stamper works great. I don't see me using it as a replacement for the current clear stamper I have because it has this closed back and that'll make for, it'll be awkward recording videos with it because of how the back is closed. But that being said, it's a great stamper and it comes in the kit. And I give these brushes a big thumbs up. I love them, I can't wait to use them. They're like my two favorite colors. And they work great. Acetone doesn't ruin the bristles, so you can clean them off using acetone. I'll probably only use them with acrylic paint, besides the cleanup brushes, because I don't want to risk ruining them. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys, thank you so so much for watching.